Hi, I'm Marek Shramko from the Prague ICU, and today I'm going to show you how to perform ultrasound guided cannulation of the radial artery. From my own experience, if you have the possibility, always try to insert the arterial line under the ultrasound guidance. Once you master the technique on more stable patients, you'll be able to insert the arterial line quickly and on the first attempt, even in severely hypotensive patients, patients without a pulsating blood flow or patients with a small caliber artery. First, briefly check the patency and diameter of the radial artery by ultrasound. Set up a sterile trolley. You will need sterile draping, swaps for disinfection, clamp, sterile cover for ultrasound probe with sterile jelly, a syringe with a thin needle for local anesthesia and another syringe for flushing, arterial catheter and some suturing material. Prepare an anesthetic such as trimekine or lidocaine. Prepare chlorhexidine for sterile swaps. Position the forearm in a supine position with the wrist in a mild dorsiflexion. Place the ultrasound in a straight view line on the same side as the punctured hand. Prep the forearm with chlorhexidine swaps. Drape the forearm with a fenestrated drape and expand the sterile field with another drape. Put the ultrasound probe in a sterile cover. In this case, I use a cover with a sticker that serves as a jelly. Remove any residual air bubbles. It might be a good idea to fix the ultrasound probe with a clamp to prevent it from falling. Of course, never clamp the cable. Flush the needle and the catheter. Firmly fix the probe on the patient's hand. Ultrasound guided cannulation of the radial artery is best performed in the short axis view. Apply 2 to 3 milliliters of an anesthetic while watching the needle on the ultrasound. Keep the probe firmly placed at the same spot all the time. Insert and introduce a needle under a shallow angle right under the center of the ultrasound probe. All the time you have to clearly see the tip of the needle. Once you obtain a flush of pulsating blood flow, fix the needle with a hand and smoothly advance a guide wire. Do not advance the wire against any resistance. Insert the catheter over the guide wire. Puncture of the skin is rarely needed. Aspirate a small amount of blood and flush the catheter. Reclamp and close the lumen with a sterile cap. Fix the catheter with sutures. Verify that the arterial waveform is appropriate. Apply a sterile dressing once the puncture site is not bleeding. Finally, verify that the pressure transducer is placed at the level of the patient's heart. 